I'm not sure how much Zama has appeared on the stream already, but let's get some more. Yeah. Well, he, he died his hair. Respectfully, yeah. you know, I, I do like Zamba. That That's is not, wrong. That is, it is no, okay. that is not what I'm turning into the stream for. I want to see Vaughn, who is making some cr crazy plays on some of the other setups earlier as I was watching some matches. So I'm excited to see what this matchup looks like, although I am a little worried. It's yeah. a lot of uh, this. I'm going I'm to let you know, yeah. Vaughn's not a fan of this matchup. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. This is it's definitely one of our most complained about matchups right here. And... You can see why, like, Rob has the boxing tools and the projectile game to deal with Duck Hunt mm -hmm. right now. And the fact that Rob can go off stage and track down Duck Hunt 2 right. can't make it difficult. Yeah, it always feels like, despite all of the, the Duck Hunt shenanigans that go on, of like, all these items are technically frame one spawning, though they can have different levels of hitboxes and, and different uh, timings for their interaction in the case of all the different gunmen. It takes a while for Duck Hunt to set up their offense. Yeah. Rob does the same level of traps and the same level of offense near instantaneously. Hold on, though. What the <laughs> See this little gyro combo into the pigeon. Into the oh, my God. Oh, okay. Come on. She put, she, oh. But that is. <laughs> but when you're set up, though, yo, yeah. that's yo. when everything starts to fall into place. It's just a matter of how consistently can Fawn get set up right you know maybe it's enough with di like that especially living at 175 oh, wow yeah. the tech that's wild they want to live i'm saying <laughs> meter two <tier> list <laughs> <They're on there. laughs> yeah okay up there will do it though just about dead even here and this is a good opportunity to set up when you have that invulnerability from the platform but you just, it does not last long so we see going for the can trying to set something up and unfortunately like you said so many of Rob's tools are so good against the can. Even Nair's disjointed enough to kind of invalidate it. But still trying to make something happen here. Big damage, 68 just from what felt like a couple of straight hits. Yeah, and Zama's still going. Yeah, covering jumps with that giant Nair. Oh, Vaughn tried to challenge. She's lucky she's able to get, to get back to legend time. N normally when you see Zamba acknowledge that he's taken a jump, that's when he smells blood in the water. Still able to apply enough pressure there to find that down smash and instantly reversing the script on Fawn. Yeah, and it just feels like after that shot, Salma just took it to another level. Yeah, sure. And that's that's what separates like I guess the tiers of players. Essentially, I'm not saying Fawn's a bad player. It's just Salma's known to be like skillful to be a top ten player. Sure, sure. Yeah. There is definitely some confidence right now behind a lot of the moves Zamba's thrown out. Keeping that pressure up at the ledge is so rough, especially with that little assist from the can. Actually kind of helping Fawn out, though. At least to get the back, you know, towards center, not into the rotor arms, but this throw could be rough, too. The gyro is really helping out. Ooh, interesting. Surprised he dropped the shield there. Yeah. Fig like, figured because they hit shield, it was just not active anymore. Mm -hmm. But she controls when it explodes, so... Yeah, very complicated move for no real good reason. Uh, <laughs> love vision. Yeah. That mystical third player that right. comes yeah. in to control everything. That's my guy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's me. <laughs> uh, I'm my guy. Oh, okay. Big mess over on the left side. You're going to be the up air, though, to take that. Yeah. It started off as a very interesting and competitive game. I wouldn't say that it continued that way, but it was mostly Zamba, you know, for lack of a better phrase, really just turning it on. Right. Yeah. Let's go back to 21 real quick. Sure.
Set up one, we got you. So yeah. big up smash going into game three. Zamba and Fawn here on Pokemon Stadium. Interesting. I didn't get to see a whole lot of game two, but I did see Fawn put some crazy combos together, and I think that's all the difference. Although, you know, Zamba has been good about making sure that she doesn't really get to get started. It looks like every opportunity she had in game two really went to the distance. So it's like once you get into those high percent scrambles, because if I remember correctly, game two was won off of a uh, can trade super close, yeah. um, super high percentage. So Rob can typically hold advantage in the full screen, in the mid screen, but then in the close range where you're at the threat of a stray clay pigeon doing a gajillion damage or a can closing out a stock in a high tense moment, uh, high pressure moment. Like, that's where Duck Hunt can kind of weasel in a niche of how to play a traditional game rather than trying to strictly look on paper. But that, of course, is assuming you're getting to these high percentage scrambles, and Zamba says, what if I just lock in? Yeah, <laughs> yeah true. <laughs> but what if he doesn't? <laughs> but what if he doesn't? No, but he, he seems pretty locked in right now. And a big thing I also attribute to is like basically the stage. I think the stage is really good for Rob. Platforms are perfect for like up tilt under. And because they are like higher, you can just die off the top. And we've seen when they started off, because they're playing at a bigger distance and PS2 being a bigger stage, Rob just gets to go off and control the game. Yeah. Speaking of control, that gyro alone has shut down so many different options. I mean, the can loses out to it. Pigeon doesn't start up fast enough, and it looks like, okay, Fawn does make it back, but right into a downhill forward air. Now three stocks to one, and I can see why everyone's voting for setup 21. Uh, I think we may be getting there shortly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, once once they start out, that is Sephiroth Donkey Kong. Yeah. It seems like Phantom has um, been preferring that into Sephiroth rather than uh, the Steve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've been hearing a few few Steve players talking about how Sephiroth could be a bad matchup or even. So. All right, well, let's go find out yeah, if the Donkey Kong is.